what's going on all you outlaws and welcome to this video today now before we get into it I want to talk about the giveaway I'm doing for the first week of September the first week of September I'm giving away 55 gold bars or 1.5 million in GTA online well it's 1.2 my bad 1.2 great white shark 1.250 so if you guys want to win that the only way to enter is to subscribe now there's going to be another giveaway for the end of the month. The end of the month is going to be 350 gold bars or 8 mil in GTA. It, you guys get the choice of your game. So if you guys win it, you will uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments which game you'd rather have your giveaway for if you guys win them. And the only way on f right now to enter is you have to subscribe. You have to do these three things to enter. If you do not do one of the three, you will not be entered. I need you guys to hit the subscribe button, comment down below, done, and leave a like on the video. The last giveaway I did, the like, not like, uh, the subscribes notification were not working for me. So if you did enter, for some reason, your guys' notifications were not working. So I need you guys to comment done so I can get a better read of how many of you guys are going to be subscribing to the channel and how many of you are actually participating into the giveaway. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about what is the best items currently for low-ranked players, or any rank in general. That is, now, with low-ranked, when you're being a, when you're more of a low-rank, I want to go over what horse is the best current best horse for low-ranked players. Now, of course, if you guys didn't know, you get a free Arb Arbanian? Arabian? Arabian, I think it's Ar Arabian something. It's a free horse. I still own it. It's not a bad horse. Um, now, if you guys need to make money or want to get a different horse, the next best horse you're going to get isn't going to be until about rank 50. 50, 58. Almost rank 60. The workhorses aren't really that good. It all depends on what you guys are looking for. Now, if you guys are looking for workhorses or a horse that's more sturdy, I should tell the sheriff, I think. Okay, which way to Valentine, sweet tits? The other way. So, that's actually a good idea. Where we we're going. Now, for the what loadout you guys want to rock? If you guys have the money, get the Lancaster Repeater. Holy Christ, mine's dirty. The Lancaster Repeater is the best gun in the game for long-range engagements, unless you have explosive arrows, then that's the best for long-range engagements. But the only problem with the explosive arrows, it has the impact area, but it's one shot. So keep that in mind. Why do I recommend the Lancaster, if you guys are wondering? It's not only the best for long-range engagements, it's a good long to medium range gun. If you guys want super long range, get the bolt action. The bolt action is by far one of the best for about super long. I don't really rock the snipers. The snipers are meh. And you gotta use the right ammo with the sniper to get a one shot, one kill at a certain range. So that's why I'm not gonna say get a sniper rifle. Well, I shot his hat off. So, for your pistols, they really don't matter. As long, if you get a headshot with any gun, it's a one-shot, one-kill. Let's look at these guys chasing after me, so... Oh. It's been a minute, guys, if you haven't noticed. I haven't really been playing. I've kind of just not been playing Red Dead because once I lost my streak, I was like, eh, whatever. I had a daily challenge going. I was trying to get to uh, the the 31 day challenge so I can get the treasure map. It didn't happen. So expect different content on the channel. I'm going to be doing a GTA video here in a minute. So if you guys like GTA, hit that subscribe button. If you guys like Red Dead, hit that subscribe button. If you like Fallout 76 and want to see that content, hit that subscribe button, guys. The more that you guys subscribe, and the more likes and comments I get, will tell me in feedback if you guys are digging it or not digging it. I need to know because, you know, 
I don't know if what I'm doing is coming to you guys and you guys are enjoying it. So if you guys are enjoying it and you like what the content's on the channel so far, hit that subscribe button. Okay, so now... I'm gonna go... My horse disappeared. Sweet. So what you guys are wondering, like, when I first started the game, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> first thing I did when I got into online, I went to the stables. Went to my stables in Valentine. Because I think that's where you ended up going. I'm not too sure. So if you guys are having struggles trying to figure out what horse is the best. And the superior in the Ar Arabian. The red chestnut is actually free. Now don't pay attention to the money. That That's free. That's a free horse. I have it. I've got it for free. Unless it was a benefit for being a PlayStation Plus subscriber. Could have been. Now, the second best horse is the Missouri Fox Trotter. Either of these will do, but you don't unlock them until about rank 58. If you're looking for a decently fast horse that's not as skittish, the American stand, uh, Standard is pretty good. Um, I pretty much rocked the Superior Horse until I got the Bounty Hunter under the Malty Horse and got my Breton. Which is this bad boy right here. This is honestly my favorite horse in the game. Is the Breton. I also uh, I also have the, the white horse as you guys can see. They're superior and that, that's unlocked at like rank 90. That's a pretty f good horse all around. Best saddlebags. Under your tack and services for saddles. Honestly, this is still the best one in the game. The Naka... Nekoduchia's saddlebag. I think I pronounced it right. I don't speak Spanish. Everyone's saying this is better. It's not. You can't customize it. It has really good uh, stats and shit, but you cannot do anything with it. And this is another good saddle. The De Largo Do saddle. I probably just butchered that. If any of my viewers are Spanish speaking, uh, I apologize for butchering your language. So. Now that we've moved from horses, we showed you guys the horses and which ones to go for. Go to the gunsmith. That's right up here. The gun shop, smith, whatever you want to call it. Good to see you again, partner. Now, so, what are you aiming for today? I have every gun. <laughs> Just about. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to look at the catalog. Now, the best pistols to start off with is in the revolvers the Schofield. If you guys have the money, get the Navy revolver. The Navy revolver is what I usually rock. It's pretty damaging. The uh, Schofield I think does a little bit more damage than the Navy. Yeah. Wait. Hang on. So the damage is a little bit Pass tier two, but the rate of fire is almost tier three, and the accuracy is almost tier three. Now, if we go and look at the Schofield, the damage is actually a little bit lower. The rate of fire is almost tier three, but the accuracy is tier three. So this is a very accurate pistol. If you guys are looking for something with accuracy, if you guys want a good couple good rifles, the Evans Repeater is just a reskin of the Carbine, but it carries 26 shots. The damage is mediocre. The Lancaster is the best all-around weapon to get when you're lower rank. The Lynchfield is super inaccurate. I do not recommend it. It takes way too long for the little circle bloom to go down before it to be accurate. Now, this is my personal favorite, the Bolt Action. It's got amazing damage. It's got amazing range. The rate of the accuracy is through the roof. The rate of fire is a little bit higher than the Springfield, but the reload speed is tier 2, and that's what's going to win this one here for you guys. Now, if you want a sniper, the rolling block rifle is the sniper to get. Shotguns. Honestly, you want to go and get... I got the pump action. Pump does a lot of one, but if you get the uh, semi-automatic shoddy... Anything at all, damage won't matter because it's just boom, 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 and your, your, your heart gets down. But 
that's just kind of what the video was today. Just something a little quick for you guys, you know, some little snippets and whatnot, giving you guys a little bit of information, because right now the game's kind of stale, and I'm having problems having legendary animals spawn in. So none of my guides are up for that, because I've yet to find any of the new legendary animals. If you guys have found them, let me know down below what time of day it was, where you were. And, uh... I'll try and get down there at that time of day. Weather type is important too. Area and location, all the good stuff. But as you guys know, the giveaway for September, the week, first week of September, is going to be a $20 giveaway for 55 gold bars or 1.2 mil. And at the end of September, we're going to be moving into monthly giveaways. So the first of the month is going to be a little bit less than the end of the month. The end of the month is my bigger giveaway. But the bigger giveaway is going to be about uh, 350 gold bars and it's going to be 8 million in GTA currency if you guys play GTA and again the only way to enter is to subscribe you guys need to like the video after subscribing and comment down below done so I know that you are entered but I hope you guys found this video informative I hope to see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video and I hope you guys hit that subscribe button for the giveaway because we're gonna be doing it monthly and then once we hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a decently sized giveaway. Uh, more information on that to come. But as always, it's your Outlaw Rejuvenate. And I'm out of here. I'll see you all in the next Red Dead Online video. Peace out.